Hey y'all, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a general tarot reading energy check. If you are returning back, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Shannon, I'm glad to have you. And I uh, just made a mess. <laughs> and uh, I look at criminal activity on um, this channel, so you will get stuff like that. Um, I bet you guys can see that. Anyway, anyway, uh, welcome. You will get scripture here on this channel because it's actually found in the tarot. It's very intense. Um, it's just a different type of a channel. I'm glad to have you if you stick around and want to learn and uh, be a part of this channel and pull your sleeves back and uh, get up here and roar at wickedness because that's what we do here on this channel. Um, so, anyway welcome happy birthday happy anniversary and all of that so with all that said guys let's go ahead and get in here and check the energy and see what's going on i hope everybody had an enjoyable day uh it was a good day for me and um so i hope it was good for you as well thank you Yehovah elohim i appreciate you so very much you hold a rebuke, bind, and block every foul, wicked, dark thing. Shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs. Show me the right now moment. What's going on? What do you want us to know? What do you want us to understand? What do we need to bypass? What do we need to continue in? Show me right now energy, please. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, work or working on something, somebody studying something that's very valuable to them, putting in the time here with the Eight of Pentacles. What else is going on? So we have literally had a lot of stuff at work coming out, boss stuff, co-workers, things like that. Um, the Four of Swords, meditating about things at work, resting after work as well. Um, there could be death situations as well uh, going on around matters. Maybe you work uh, for funeral home. <laughs> you never know who you're talking to. Um, whatever this is, this is meditating, resting. Again, it looks like somebody's, you know, uh, passed away as well. And so whatever that is, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? You'll hold up. What is this here for in the right now? What is the Eight of Pentacles here for? Thank you. Uh, the Pentacle <laughs> and the um, Temperance card. Reconciling things, um, coming back around. Uh, this can be an inheritance if we're dealing with money situations and this is a death um, Then the letter noon is here in the Hebraic language if you're brand new and it represents an inheritance It represents all kinds of stuff uh, This is about getting your balance at work as well uh, Something very prosperous is here. Okay, uh, this is a deliverance as well one of the meanings of the letter noon um salvation a prophet is here heirs to kingdoms when that comes out as well but this is reconciling things at work then so be it then so, something's out here there's a some some type of innocency out here when we see a deer uh, it can have a meaning of uh, being innocent okay so uh, somebody now resting after something that's taken place at work then so be it um, some people resting after a broken heart within a matter and so be it. Some people got pregnancies. If you're reconciling something and letting something, you know, come to a place where there's a forgiveness, then that would be like a forgiveness card. The letter N is here. A person, place, or a thing, first middle, last name. It doesn't have to mean anything at all. But the letter N is here. Okay. The Queen of Cups is also out here in this reading. And um, the Six of Pentacles. This is about being generous. Um... 
the Queen of Cups is a loving, caring, kind, gentle, sweet, stuff like that. And then we got a reconciliation. Apparently somebody wasn't. Uh, what was coming through my spirit is in the runes, the letter N looks like an X, but it represents somebody who's got a strong compulsory tie, uh, somebody who's in rebellion and stuff like that. And I was noticing, because I pointed out in this card deck sometimes when I use it, the Knight of Swords is here, and that somebody will rise up and you know be rebellious as well. And so it is here with that letter N being here tied into this uh, energy. So whatever that has been, somebody trying to get their balance within some matter that somebody's going to you know reconcile something and bounce up the skills within some ordeal and be generous, then that's great. Then there's there's some type of a nice energy out here. This is getting into unity here with some matter to put the work in on a, an ordeal. Well, that's that's positive. I mean, if that is positive. Um, we'll see what words come out here. Actually, let me take this other um, tarot deck and let's see what this Queen of Cups is all about. We've been having some really big energy come out the last couple of days on the channel around bribes and stuff like that. Obviously, this can take you back to the law. We've got the scales here as well travel situations with the ninth house would also be here but this is luck and stuff like that show me this queen of cups we'll see we'll let it unfold what's this queen of cups here for the justice so something around legal matters or the truth is here balancing out something as well the queen of pentacles has been coming out the last few times i've done readings as well um mother energy feminine stuff's coming out here what's the justice card here for what's the truth Let's take you back to the truth as well. What's the truth around this Queen of Cups? You'll hold us. Thank you. Uh, the Fool. That there's a clean slate here. Okay, a new beginning is here. The Fool is the first card of the deck. Obviously, if we got legal matters for some of you all, and something's known around something that was signed or a signature, or somebody marked someplace out and did something, then so be it. For some people, there's eternity and death around some ordeal. Okay. Um, there was a physical secret exchanging with the two of pentacles. We see that infinity, the eight, takes you back to secrets, right? It's also getting your balance here with the two of pentacles. Somebody's trying to get their balance here. We really see it. Scales represent I balance for the seventh house. And I know somebody, the, the, the eleventh house is I know, right? I know that something's got to be balanced out. I perceive something here with the ninth house, okay? So full is known information around some clarity and truth around crack, con, contractual things. This is a contract for some people as well. Show me this fool. What's this fool here for? What's the energy behind it? We, so we've seen that Queen of Pentacles there. Like I said, last couple uh, times that I've done some readings, um, she's come out. And um, so if these two queens were in agreement around some contract or some situation, uh, something's got to be balanced out within some matter. Something's foolish around it. Then something's the truth about it is here. Whatever that was. Show me the fool. Uh, the world card. Okay. Kind of wants to come out in the reverse. Um, the, we got, so the fool is first card of the deck. The world card is the last card of the deck. A whole huge cycle is here. If something ain't going to be closed out until something's balanced out. Is what Jehovah just said through my spirit. And then tr that's the truth. Truth would be here on that. Um, there's the devil. Well, and the devil's been coming out as well. All this high arcana. The devil wants to restrain you. Like I said, the letter N in the runes, is, it looks like an X, right? We've been having come out on the channel, the X is the problem and all that kind of stupidness or something signed on the X where the, you know, cause this is a signature or something. You could look at it that way as well. Uh, the devil is um, piercing energy. If there's law out here, then there's law out here. Uh, this is a predator. A boss energy is here. We have work here. Okay. And we had the boss come out in wording today on one of my platforms as well. Somebody's trying to restrain something from ending. It ain't going to happen. You can't stop an inevitable fate that will take place because everything has a beginning and an end to it. Okay. Let's take some words. Jehovah, you just pick through my hands. So if you're new... 
we get sometimes we get off the wall stuff that comes out of this deck that's a homemade deck you just take the pieces that resonate with you and chunk out the rest because it is a collective reading and so you know not every word's going to go for everybody if we get scripture and most likely we will get scripture uh, it'll go for all of us whatever side of that scripture you're on only you know okay all right the first word is an ugly heart well that's this freaking devil okay that's a fool something's foolish then that's been out here around some contract around some type of somebody trying somebody has been for the last few times i've been a video is trying to come back around here okay um and they had a fault they did a they had a false heart there's a liar everybody knows somebody's a liar and they're not respected came out today in wording as well all right and so like i said last night we had uh, the king and queen of wands was there under unity around some matter as well uh, so whatever's going on we have a nymph here if you don't know what a nymph is i'm not going to get into it but we have they're just like people that are infiltrated with demonic entities um you can read about them in the book of enoch okay and they're tied to um they're, they're, they're tied to like the giants and stuff like that and they're little women that like to pull you in with cords of deceit and then once they got you they turn into real loud freaking sirens okay they're de they're deceitful people somebody got an ugly heart out here because they're nymph okay you got a nympho out here as well and uh, this is the pictograph of the sperm so we have sexual matters out here around some people doing some stuff as well so anyway um Yolva says they have no other gods before him. That's right. We're dealing with people that are in the occult and they're Satan worshipers. Okay? That's a violation to Yolva. There will be justice for some stuff that's gone on because some people have died out here. Okay? Around some stuff. Um, there's somebody out here that is involved specifically that wears uh, a lot of makeup. Now, a lot of a lot of women wear makeup, but if you are trying to figure out some type of mystery around something or some, some, whatever that is, you'll have to just bring it out, okay? I like to wear a lot of makeup, and uh, I'm part of a collective as well, but there's somebody out here that, you know, if you're dealing with somebody who just, like, cakes it on, especially like a teenager, when I was making that card, the impression that I was getting is like somebody who's newly trying trying to figure out their makeup and they just wear tons of it but you can take it as it applies whatever that means for any good person um so this is this is the third reading today on this date that i pulled this card out of all those freaking cards out of my homemade deck it's come out again so, so we already know that somebody's got a connection bottom line somebody's got a connection they've heard from the great one that they're supposed to be together but somebody's got somebody around the connection that's a stupid idiot freak that's trying to hold somebody back it's known some foolish thing has happened around here and uh anyway you hope it had my hands find that again okay well anyway um hidden money found saith you hold up and that is the truth that happened to me today and I was just like wow you hope it was hidden there all that long anyway um, so there's gonna be hidden money found it's right here there's pentacle here okay so look and you shall receive a bodyguard also found my hand I think it was last night's reading so it's here some type of bodyguard something about somewhere in the woods and something about a toolbox is here with this energy as well there's a strong authority here um, that's uh, kept somebody on a yoke. That's this. I'm going to put chains on you and some type of real you know, strong thing. But, you know, if we're walking in the truth, people, the devil has no hold on us. There's, there is a clean slate out here taking place, regardless of what the devil's been trying to do. Um, secret money. Okay, well, there's money. There's hidden money found or is going to be found. Secret money in a book. Secrets, mystery around money has been here that's an interesting there's a big jerk here as well that's the devil right military involvement and we have a teacher here uh the ninth house also goes back to like teaching energy um spirituality things like that so we do definitely have teaching here so let every word be established in two or three witnesses however all this is expressing itself just take the pieces uh, that are resonate with you and just know that there's going to be some type of salvation. There's an ending and a beginning to some type of big cycle. Even though the <laughs> the devil's trying to restrain somebody, putting yoke a yoke on somebody ain't going to happen because um, to everything there is a season and it will be ended and it will be judged after the end of the thing as well. 
We got we got the skills out here. Justice will be had within some matters. Okay, the letter O came out in my audio reading this morning, or was it last night? No, I think it was this morning. Um, this is a good luck rune. Uh, this also goes back to learning from some type of uh, situation that's went down. So we have teaching energy. If somebody's learned their lesson, all right, then so be it. Something very karmic has been out here around some ordeal, okay? Um, this is uh, your home, assets, inheritance. We have inheritance here as well, okay? So we definitely have money situations coming out here, all right? So um, this is like ownership of, you uh, you know things or somebody feels like they got an ownership and putting you know yoke on somebody around some matter it's just been such a stupid foolish stupidness there's a big jerk out here involved in some stuff there's money attached to some stuff right then there's hidden money things have been hidden but there's going to be some type of a deliverance out of the ordeal because uh, the person who has the ugly heart and that's a freak and a fool uh, we already know the ending of their story. The Jehovah's uh, Word tells us that the righteous diligently considers the house of the wicked. We know their end, people. You're going to come up in here and get rid of them. And we're going to get some type of a freedom from a situation. This is right now energy coming out. And so take it, leave it, do whatever you got to do with it. But this is what Jehovah wanted to speak about. Until next time, Shalom.